just talk about how you came to make um, unusual things. Well, a hat is made out of about a 100-pound block of fresh-cut wood, and you turn it real thin, and uh, sap flies right across you. It's a wet wood, and then over a period of about two weeks, you bend and shape it and, and work it to actually fit your head. It, 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 you bend it to suit your head, whatever you think. Um, you can make all kinds of things out of this. Uh, the little ones are made half-size hats. The, uh, Have you been doing the, these for years and years? No, probably two or three years now. Okay. And, uh, They've made enough scrap, too. There's a, you're looking at the good ones, but there's a lot in between. Uh, and do, you, do uh, you, people buy them from, from you to wear? Some buy them to wear. Most just buy a hat. They just want a wooden hat because they can't believe it weighs like uh, eight ounces. And it's, it's actually lacquered. You can use this thing uh, wear it. Now, this is even better. This is... I turned half of a hat out of pop where you saw that other hat. On the other side of the log, you've got another equally nice piece. And I was going to turn a woman's hat, and I thought, well, you can do that anytime. And I thought, I'm going to turn a pair of jockey shorts just to see if I can do it. Well, it, it sounded like fun at first, but a, pair, uh, a hat is, the hard part of a hat's about eight inches in diameter, maybe five inches deep. Jockey shorts are 12 inches in diameter and 10 inches deep, and it was really a hard turn. Also, when you get it done, you have to bend and shape it like, like this hat. Uh, the crotch of jockey shorts is radius this way and flat this way, so you can't make a bowl shape and make it look like a pair of jockey shorts. The other thing is, to turn it, you can caliper yourself front and back with calipers and get the size that you want. To get the height, I had to pull the shades of my shot. I had a level <laughs> between my legs, and I was putting marks on the wall. And, and as you put a mark on the wall, I couldn't see the bubble of the lathe, and as you look down, your behind goes up. So I had marks all over the wall. To get the height of it was really, it was one of the hardest parts of the whole thing. But uh, I'm known now for my underwear. Well, that's pretty cool. In demonstrations, somebody says, well, where's your underwear? And about 10% understand that, the other half, or the other 90% want to leave the room now. <laughs>